Good morning. We have just picked up the motorhome and we are now heading over to Don Amots in Derby to do the handover and collection of our new Swift Escape. So we will see you as we land in Derby. And it's about a two hour drive from our storage to Hilton in Derby. Hopefully um, the roads will be quite clear. It's eight o'clock, so it's a Saturday morning. So fingers crossed there's not too many delays. So we've arrived at Don Amots and we're about to go in to do the handover and then we'll show you the new motorhome. So it's time to say goodbye to the tracker as we've arrived at Don Amots. And if you look left, I think it might be there. And here it is, our new Swift Escape 694. So it's time to hit the road, time to give it a shakedown, and you'll next see us on site when we start making this our home from home. Well, we have arrived at Ferry Meadows and as you can see, we are busy trying to find the new homes for everything. As well as chucking out the things we don't need. For the first time, we have a garage. So I'm gonna get these mats down on the base and then work out where we want to put everything. Almost there. It's amazing how much stuff you have in your home from home. So all of this is bagged up, packed up, ready to put back into the new motorhome and find new places for it all. We've also got a few bits to fit and install like the, the new Avtex TV. And these are some mats for the garage at the back. It's going to be a fun day when we arrive at Ferry Meadows. We have set up at Ferry Meadows and we have now packed everything back in to the new motorhome and we're now finding our way around all the different cupboards, spaces, storage that we have to make sure to begin with that this is working. We're also busy inside testing all the plumbing, shower, taps, electrics and we've been busy putting the TV brackets up and getting everything set for our first night here. So I'll give you a little walk round in a moment. So this is a quick glance at our new Swift Escape 694 and we will do you a full tour properly probably when we get on our next trip away in a couple of weeks time. But as you can see we're quite impressed with the lovely blue graphics, the lovely indigo blue cab. Looks quite nice with our good old Betty eyes that we've had for some time now. Well, 
Well, good morning from Ferry Meadows and our first night in the new motorhome is complete and we've had a very rested and comfortable evening and good night's sleep. So yesterday was a busy day and we haven't done much filming of the new motorhome for you just yet. We'll do that for you before we get off on our next trip and we'll do a full look inside all the features, um, what it looks like, its layout. Um, and, and we'll put that together as just a separate little video. But I will show you a bit more when I get back um, to the motorhome in a moment. However, that said, there's a few things that have impressed us already. The space in the, the lounge area and that lovely um, adjustable table that you've got for the for the dining at the front was great last night. The, the flexibility in that in being able to have it as a, a big table or fold over. And Jamie's family came over to, to see us at one point. So for all of us to be able to sit around in a, in a bigger lounge was um, much, much better than the, the space we had in that, that lounge area on the auto trail. The bed is really comfortable. I have to say I've had a better night's sleep for the duvelet um, mattress that you do get. And the bed in this motorhome is just that little bit longer. So for me, as, as almost a six footer, um, no risk of feet popping out of the end of the bed. And I have quite enjoyed the space that you get with that mid bathroom. Um, the fact that it is an all in one that you can just close off and you get that big space where the, the toilet, washroom and shower is certainly makes a more efficient use of that space and is more comfortable than it being separated off um, as it was in the last one. Because fundamentally we've got the same layout. It's, it's lounge, kitchen, bathroom into into a bedroom at the back with that rear island bed but already I can see some of the benefits to um, switching out as we have done at this time. What I did find yesterday driving down we've done almost 150 miles with the the loop that we've had to do to pick it up from Don Amos. It gave me a good chance to give it a run down the M1 for a few junctions and then across the A14 so I've been able to try some smooth roads, some fast roads, um, some bumpier roads, which helped us shake it down a little bit to see where the, the creeks and the rackles might be. Um, and then we've, we've come back up on some country roads back across to, to Ferry Meadows. So giving it a good run was great um, for us certainly to get used to the vehicle. And what I did find, it, it does feel a bit more planted even though it's fundamentally the same cab, it's the same engine, you know, I've got the same dashboard in effect at the front. Um, it definitely had uh, a more planted field on the road. And I think that's because I do know it's, it's a little bit lower than the, the body and the chassis of what we had on the auto trail. So it was a very pleasant drive yesterday. Now the other big advantage, and I will take a picture of this for you and, and pop it in, is finally having a garage. So as you know, this is our third motorhome and in both previous ones, whilst there's been space to store stuff, they've not really been a garage. And that has always meant that whenever we're setting up on a site, we are surrounded by deck chairs, aqua rolls, paraphernalia that you take with you that we've had to pack around internally in the motorhome. So for example, in the auto trail, we would have put um, the deck chairs and the um, rainbow screen that we've got all packed into the, the toilet cubicle. We used to put the deck chairs and, and other bits and pieces down the sides of the bed. Um, but this has a full garage. And we certainly have noticed now that we can get some good storage in there. And I've, I've now put down some of the flooring to protect the floor and just soften any rattles in the back um, with those big um, foam mats. Um, and we've got a proper storage space now. So we haven't got to worry about all that stuff being inside the motorhome. So particularly for our winter travel, there's a lot of stuff won't need to come out. So that already is a big advantage. So I'm on my little dog walk. I'm here just sat in the morning sun at Ferry Meadows, which is always a, an enjoyable site for us. It's a, it's a favorite, it's a local one, um, highly recommend it. And we've, we've done a, a walk round of this site in the past. So I'm going to take the dogs back down and, and I'll give you a little, little look round the motorhome. Um, and then I'll perhaps tell you a little bit more about the, the deal we got.
So what I've just found is the there's like a little light bar with a mini little switch on it. And then that, I think, must be switched on at the other end. So I need to go and open the other door and turn it off.